When the genocide started, I was in my third year of primary school. In the morning after the president's plane crash, my father fled with my family, but I didn't go with him. I went with my cousin to a church in Musha and stayed there with, my many, other, with many other people. On April the 12th, Semenza, the mayor of Bukumbi, sent the presidential guards to the church we were staying. They shot at us, and during the chaos that ensued, I was able to escape. I travelled with guards towards Yashari, but I, when I arrived, I found that there were killings there too. I continued on to my aunt's home. I was able to stay there for one night, because they were set to leave the next day. We then made it to Karatutu. It was there that I met a man named Karakuba, a friend of my father's. We hid together, but the Intimahamwe discovered us. The Intimahamwe tied Gakuba, but they did not tie me up. They killed him in front of me. When they, took up, when they took their eyes off me, I escaped, but I did not want to die like Garakuba. They fired three bullets, but none of them hit me. It was the RPF soldiers that saved me. They took me to a camp in Kazona. I learned there that my father, mother and all my sisters had been killed and thrown in a latrine. All of our possessions had been destroyed too, except just two cows, which I was able to reclaim after the war.